Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, the online learning community that offers over 25 thousand different courses in subjects like business and design. Be one of the first 500 people to sign up with a link down below and receive two months of Skillshare absolutely free. And after that, an annual membership works out to be $10 a month. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now today I'm going to be eating chips lots and lots of chips and i found these at my local asian market i had never seen them before and they are lay's potato chips from china now i've tasted a lot of lay's potato chips when they were doing their vote for flavor campaigns i tasted all of them and i will put a link to the playlist down below in case you are interested some interesting flavors but i have never had chinese potato chips before and some of these flavors sound really interesting i'm going to taste this one first this is the numb and spicy hot pot flavor so not only is it spicy but it's going to have that numbing sensation which comes from the sichuan peppercorns so i've tasted several instant hot pots if you missed those videos i will also put links down below and up above Ooh! immediately i smell potato chip and it smells kind of barbecued, but I do smell some chili. It smells like roasted chili. As pictured, these are the kind of like ruffle style potato chip, like wavy, but small wavy. The chips have a kind of orange hue to them with little speckles on them. They smell really good. All right, here we go. Let's give them a taste. Itadakimasu. Ooh, I like those nice and flavorful at first it tastes almost like a barbecue potato chip but it's not it tastes like hot pot it does it has a little bit of that instant bouillon flavor and there is a little bit of heat i'm trying to see if it's numbing my tongue at all i'm not feeling any of the numbing sensation yet but i've only had one chip Hmm. Sometimes hot pot's a little bit too licorice -y or anise -y for me, but not in this case. This is very flavorful. It tastes like soup base with some chili pepper in there, but not overpowering. And now I'm getting a little bit of that numbing sensation. It's kind of on the tip of my tongue. It feels like there's a little bit of Novocaine on the tip of your tongue. It's not unpleasant actually, it's kind of fun. A little bit kind of like when you have a mentholated cough drop, like, you know, something's not quite right. <sighs> Mm. And because of the similarity in terms of flavor to barbecue, I think this would be well suited for Western palates as well. Of course, you've got the whole familiarity of the chip as well. Pretty good. <laughs> Next, let's try another wavy chip, and this is roasted chicken wing flavor. Now, this is a flavor that I was really looking forward to because I love me some chicken wings. And I mean, in potato chip form, audio Ooh, that has some chicken bouillon smell in that smells good okay do these ridges look really big these look obscenely big okay potato chip experts does that seem like bigger ridges to you it definitely does to me like the ridges are deeper and more pronounced i'm getting a very strong smell of instant chicken bouillon, like when you open the orange package of the Maruchan chicken flavor, yes, that's what this smells like. Not unpleasant, pretty good. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Now the crunch is a little bit different. Mm-hmm. It seems like although these waves are bigger, in size this seems to be a lighter crunch as if the chip is a little bit thinner i think what i don't like about the ruffle styles that they tend to be a bit hard for me at any rate these seem to have a crisper crunch and the chicken flavor is good it tastes just like the chicken bouillon but no celery flavor and it's slightly sweet so you've got that umami chickeny bouillon flavor with some sugar mm. i'm trying to discern if there's any chili in there there might be a little bit of heat but maybe that's residual from the numb and spicy hot pot in terms of flavor i like it but does it taste like roasted chicken wings <laughs> no now let's taste this one i'm very curious about this flavor and this is cucumber cucumber flavor 
All right, what's it gonna smell like? Oh, it smells like cucumber. It has that kind of green vegetal smell. It smells a little bit like fresh watermelon. Wow. And fried potato chips. Interesting, but the style of this chip is gonna be the classic Lay's style, which I like. So they look like the regular style Lay's. Same color, same size, same thinness, but it has little green flecks on it. It kind of looks like black pepper, but it's dark green. So while I was curious about this flavor, I'm actually not a huge fan of cucumber, but I want to see if they taste like cucumber. Mmm, huh? Huh. So while it does taste a little bit like cucumber, it doesn't taste like cucumber body lotion or anything. It's not sweetened and over the top artificial. But what it does taste like to me, oddly enough, is it tastes like nori. Nori is the seaweed that's used in sushi, that black seaweed. It tastes a lot like that, or seasoned nori. So it has some sugar in it and some salt and definitely some MSG. Mm-hmm. I like it. The cucumber flavor is not too strong. It actually tastes a lot like seaweed. Pretty good. I've never made that association before of seaweed tasting at all like cucumber. Ah, interesting. The last of our bag of chips is this one, and this is the grilled squid flavor. So this is gonna be similar to the roasted chicken wing in the sense that it's going to be that wavy style. Let's open this one and see if it opens as vigorously. Oh my gosh, they fill these ones up with like extra nitrogen. Ugh. Okay, okay. Ooh, these ones smell like shrimp chips and they smell nice and toasty. Okay. In terms of color, it looks pretty similar to the roasted chicken wing. And again, these really deep V cuts. Hmm. That's not bad. The initial flavor I get is a really strong toasted flavor, baked and dry. And then in the back you get kind of a seafoody flavor. I think of all of them, this one actually surprisingly is my least favorite. I like the cucumber actually better than this. Mm -hmm. There's also a little bit of a five spice flavor to that as well. The squid flavor is actually pretty subtle and the very, very end. The strongest flavor is that nutty toastiness, a bit like sesame seeds. Hmm, this one's not my favorite. So before I taste the next round of chips, let me tell you a little bit more about Skillshare. Right now I'm taking a course in interior design. It's called Interior Decorate Like a Boss. And it's an hour long course with Rose Stanek and it breaks down the whole idea of decorating your house. I really like how it's broken down into subjects that are easily digestible. I love that you can get feedback from other students. So a premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join classes and communities for you and your goals. So Skillshare is a place to keep you learning and thriving, whether you wanna fuel your curiosity or bolster your career, Skillshare has the classes you need to meet your goals. So be one of the first 500 to sign up with a link down below to receive two months of Skillshare absolutely free. After that, an annual membership works out to be about $10 a month. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's eat some more chips. Now we're gonna taste these, and these are the Lay's Stacks chips and these are similar to Pringles. They're packaged in this kind of tennis ball container and just based on the cylinder size I think these are going to be a little bit smaller in diameter. This one is the tomato flavor. Let's see what this one's like. Oh, I've never had Lay's stacked potato chips before and they're different from Pringles because it comes with a little sleeve and they are definitely smaller than Pringles. Definitely. And they have less of an arc and they seem to be a little bit bumpier in texture. The one thing I have learned tasting Pringles is that if you place them upside down, they fit better in your mouth. Doesn't smell all that tomatoey. All right, here we go. Mmm. The texture is also a little bit different than Pringles. They're a little more crisper. The bite isn't as thick, and it has a similar flavor of dehydrated potato, which isn't bad. These are significantly sweet, though. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. And a little taste of tomato, but there's none of that Italian seasoning or kind of herbal seasonings at all. It's actually just sweet and salty. Pretty sweet, actually. If you've ever had Japanese senbei before, or Chinese senbei for that matter, that's what these remind me of, that very kind of sweet, salty coating on the outside of those crispy rice crackers. That's what this is like. Tomato flavor, barely tasting it, if at all. Mmm, it's a sizzled barbecue flavor. Mmm, this surprisingly doesn't have all that much of a strong, I was expecting it to be very smoky, but it's not. It's kind of meaty. Hmm. Here we go. So even with the sleeve, there is some breakage on the bottom here. Hmm. So it seems like, as opposed to the regular Lay's potato chips, the stacked versions, at least based on these last two flavors, don't exactly taste as what they say. If I was just blindfolded and given this chip, I would just say, oh, that's a nice savory chip. I would never know that it was supposed to be meaty or barbecue-y or sizzling barbecue. Mm -mm. Having said that, it's not at all unpleasant. It's actually not bad. It's just not specific like the cucumber or the numb and spicy hot pot flavor. It's just sort of snack flavor, right? So my last snack flavor is the finger licking braised pork flavor. <laughs> <laughs> and after having the last two, I'm not imagining this one to have a very strong, distinctive flavor as well. But let us see. Again, we have this trough. Ah. So I saved this one for last, and this one has the most specific flavor. This has a lot of five spice flavor in it. And five spice is that classic Chinese seasoning that has five spices which includes cinnamon star anise and a couple others so it has a very distinctive flavor and this definitely has it very strong five spice flavor same blank canvas of the dehydrated potato so i like the combination of five spice particularly with meat but i don't really want it on my potato chips i think i would definitely opt for one of the others before i went for this one Alrighty, so there you have it, my very first taste of Chinese Lay's potato chips. So thank you guys so much for watching. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So join the more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare by clicking the link down below and be one of the first 500 to receive two months of Skillshare free. After that, an annual membership works out to be about $10 a month. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. See you, Lou. Take care. Bye! <laughs>